Hey there folks and welcome back for another head shaving video and today we're going to use Harry's um, the gel. Do you believe that Harry's in the gel? All the traditional shaving people running away in droves at this point because <laughs> nobody likes the gel but I'll try it. I figure what the heck. And of course the Harry's uh, razor which I have to like for head shaving. So I'm going to use this. I'm not going to put it on a brush and lather it as a traditional shaver would. I'm just going to try to use it the way um, we typically used to use the gel, I don't use them anymore, um, which is to put a little in your hand and slap it on the dome and then we'll see how it goes. Uh, uh, disclaimer, Harry says this razor is not for your head and go back last week or the week before in videos to hear that story, but it works beautifully for me. So we'll try it and we'll try this gel and see how it goes. Let me wet the dome and we'll get right to it. Stay tuned. All right, so we have wet the dome and now we're going to put a little dollop of gel there in the hand. and. We'll just rub it in there and see how it goes. See if this provides the cushion necessary, the glide and all that good stuff. Um, we know that head slick can be used very effectively this way. I don't know how um, Harry's will, will uh, fare, but we'll see. It looks a little thin and I'm not feeling the same slickness that Harry's has. Let's try just a little bit more to be safe. I don't want any skipping or anything like that, so just a little bit more. There we go. Let's get a little more visible lather going. Yeah, that's better. It smells good. It smells, it definitely smells manly, that I can tell you. It smells like a, sort of a cologne of some sort. It smells nice, so on the scent front, it's pretty good stuff. Or at least it smells good, I should say. All right, let's see how we do. And again, risking life and limb for the subscribers using this razor that's not designed for my head according to Harry's. But that's just what I do. Risking life and limb. Very, very nice. Um, so far, not bad. Um, I don't know that I get the cushion that I get with, you know, a traditional shaving product. Um, there's some slickness there, though. I can feel that. It actually feels quite good. Um, so, so far, no problems. I don't know if it will dry out on me because there's not as much water in it. That is a possibility whenever you're you know, shaving your head or really your face if you're sort of taking your time. Um, with uh, traditional shaving stuff, if you make a good lather, it tends to hold its hydration a little longer. So, we'll see how this goes. So far, not bad. No complaints. Seems to be doing what it needs to do. It does smell good. Um, that I can tell you for certain. And uh, let's use our left hand here. It's not bad. I would say um, I don't know that I'm feeling the same, say, slickness cushion as the uh, head slick. Um, but I would say, on the other hand, that it actually feels decent. Um, you know, the razor's not skipping, it's not dragging, it's gliding along pretty well. So, I'd say first pass, you know, it's at least passable. Um, I don't know if it's outstanding, but, you know, it works. So, let me wet the dome again, we'll come back for another pass. Stay tuned. All right, so we'll go for another dollop here of the Harry's gel. There we go. Using a little more this time. Maybe that's where, maybe I didn't use enough. Um, you never know. From one product to the next is quite different. That feels a lot slicker. Um, so, maybe the first pass I just simply didn't use enough. It's entirely possible because now I can fit, boy, that, <laughs> that's quite slick now. So, maybe I just needed to use more because that's definitely feeling considerably slicker and you can, you can actually feel some cushion there as well. So, scratch the first pass. We'll see how this one goes. Um, you know, when you're trying things out like this, you have to be open to the possibility that you are doing something wrong. And I think the way this feels, this is going to be dramatically better. I just didn't use enough. And so it doesn't matter at what level of shaver you are, whether you've been shaving for 40 years or 10. And if you're a shaving enthusiast of five years or five months, you can make mistakes at times because 
when you're dealing with a lot of different products, every product is different. Some require more of the product than others. I would say the main difference here between this and uh, head slick is you don't need as much head slick to achieve the same um, result. But I can tell you now, this feels a lot better. A lot better. So, um, in that first pass, that one's on me. And uh, one of the things that you'll learn about this channel is I admit it when I make a mistake, you know. And uh, I'm a human being like everyone else. Watch your ears. I do make mistakes, and this will be an example of one. But, um, yeah, it feels good now. So, you know, just fine as a matter of fact. And it smells good. So if, if you're interested in a gel, I don't use them. Um, I only have this one because it came with the razor that I bought for my wife. So I figured let's let's give it a go and see, you know, if one of the things in the traditional shaving community that I've been guilty of uh, myself, quite frankly, is we've all poo-pooed everything but traditional shaving soap and cream. And we all poo-pooed cart razors and everything except for a safety razor or a straight razor or something to the like because this was our, you know, hobby. And what I've learned since, since I went back to trying other products just for the heck of it is, they work pretty good <laughs> too. So if your technique is down, if you use the product as designed, then they work pretty good too. Now, um, I still love the traditional gear, but it feels pretty good. I need to do a little touch up. What we'll do is just do a little touch up while we're talking. Um, but some of this stuff, like I'm using here today, this Harry's, actually, you know, it's a gel like your old Edge gel, sort of similar, but it works pretty good. If other things work, I'm going to tell you. And then, of course, people who are in the hobby, deep into it, and, and especially those who have money on the line will, will balk, or those who are sort of, you know, acolytes of the various traditional shaving soaps and vendors and all that will balk and go, ah, he's, he's jumped the shark. And I don't care. You, you're seeing that it works and it works well. And the one difference on my head is, and the reason why you see me using the cart pretty often, is because it doesn't cut these small little, I think they're called cherry angenomas on my head. And that's great for me. And I can get a quick you know, really nice smooth head shave without any sort of irritation. Um, I do use safety razors from time to time. And nearly every time I do, those bumps get cut. Now maybe I'd eventually cut them down so far that they didn't, didn't exist anymore. I don't know. But um, I discovered through head shaving that some of this gear um, that we in the traditional shaving community just constantly bash because we don't use it anymore it's not that bad it does, am i saying it's as good for all people absolutely not um, but for my head um, what what this is illustrating today is that this cart and this gel which some people call it goop uh, we've all done it over the years if we're in into uh, traditional shaving um, it works if you use it as you're supposed to. Now, I'm not going to go buy Edge Gel or Barbasol Foam or any of that. I'm not doing that. This one just happened to come with it. But I will say it smells good. It has done the job. So, the point here is not to, to change your mind. But it is to say, if you need to use this stuff, if you're, you know, for whatever reason, you forget your safety razor and have to go to the drugstore and can't find one, they work. And uh, this in fact, works very well for heads, even though Harry says it's not designed for your head. Okay, I get it, but it works very, very well. All right, let me uh, rinse it down. We'll come back and do the post. Stay tuned. All right, and here we are, back with the magic. Made by Witches Thayers, Witch Hazel. Excellent stuff. Excellent. We'll slap it on the dome and the face, too. Why not? Although we just did a regular shave on the face and probably... Killing my aftershave, but we're going to put aftershave on anyway. Uh, one of the things I want to make mention here is, in the wet shaving community or traditional shaving community, sometimes we lose sight of the fact that a close 
comfortable shave without cuts and irritation should be the goal. It's not just using something like this to be using it. All right. If you use something like this and it works great for you, fantastic. If it doesn't for whatever reason and you have to use something else, that's okay as long as you're getting a close, clean, comfortable, enjoyable shave. And what I have shown you today is that this hair eats razor <clears throat> and even this gel, which would be absolutely poo-pooed in this community of which I'm a part of, you saw it. <laughs> it works just fine. Hey, am I going to go buy a bunch of it? No, but it works just fine. So in a pinch. It'll work for you, and it smells good, too. All right, let's apply our wet shave so we can get on out of here. Yeah. This is a Sterling Mountain Man, which I use today for the face, and it is beautiful stuff. Again, folks, just remember and think about, are you achieving your goal of getting a wonderful shave? If the answer is yes, and you're using something off the beaten path, it's okay if it works for you. Whatever works for you, is the best. Whatever works well for you, that you are very capable with, or at least capable of delivering a uh, comfortable, clean, enjoyable shape, that's the best. It's not what I say. It's not what anybody says. It's what you say that counts. And with that, we'll wrap this head shave up. Uh, again, hit subscribe if you have not. A lot of you who are subscribers at Al Lather haven't made it over here yet. Please come on over here because this is where the content is going to be. Uh, thanks again for joining us. Until next time, let's help make the entire world shape great once again.